<laughs> All right, y'all, look. Uh, this matchup kind of speaks for itself. We got Quench Orchard and we got Stonebridge. One of the best teams out of Maryland. <laughs> one of the best teams out of Virginia. Let's go. All right, y'all, look, time for the, well, they already had the opening kickoff. First office on the field is Quince Orchard. Now, look, they're out there in the brand new black uniforms. And I haven't seen QO yet this season, but I know they're going to put up a lot of points. So, I'm very excited to see that. First, bro, it ain't even take one play for them. Yo, look, I gotta try not to be too loud because I'm on Stone Bridge of South. First play again. 80 yards off the gate. Yeah, no way they're about to run that direct snap offense the whole game. I thought they checked when, I, when they checked number 12, and I thought they checked the quarterback in, so they finally can go to like a regular offense, or but I think they might go direct snap the whole game. Oh, hold on, they did throw the ball. Hold on. They might actually got them a quarterback. All right. They're really moving this ball, too, so. No matter they run it or they pass, they can move it. This one's picked off by number six, Aiden West. Man, just as I thought they were about to tie it, look, they had a really good drive, going. I thought they were about to tie the game up too. So just like that, they threw the ball for the second time that drive, and they threw a pick, so. Third and long, complete the ball with downfield, but it's coming back. Kilo over the middle. The pass is caught by number 15, Joshua Harris Goff. Hey, look, they took away their first first down, so they just went and got a second first down. Oh, it's a screen pass.
number one, Iverson Howard. Quarterback Nino Marzullo keeps it himself. Quarterback Marzullo into the end zone. Touchdown, Prince Orchard. All right, so I didn't really get a chance to see that touchdown, but scoring the QB sneak after a really long drive. But now Stonebridge is down by 14 and getting the ball back. So what's the flag on this time? Alright, so then we got fourth and about two, fourth and about one. We'll keep it on the ground with number four, Marquez. I feel like they did not get it, so. Pretty sure we got down. a chance to go by three touchdowns now. Number zero under pressure. Take it down. Alright, so look, out of like three penalties, we got third and like 17, so. Two on the other side. Number four. On third down, Morzula pass is incomplete. Looking for number nine. Hey, y'all had the best angle in the house. Y'all let me. They ain't throwing no flag. I think that was a flag. <laughs> I think it was too. I think it was. They won one bad over on that QO side, but Stonebridge is happy over here because they finally got them to stop. But. Oh my God. Why are you not fair catching it? Right Kids watching this at home, please use the fair catch. <laughs> what else going to happen to you? I don't think he scored. Okay, hold on. He caught it, but he didn't score. He got someone down inside the five, but he didn't score. But, hey, Stonebridge trying to make it to the game, man. Hold on. And just like that, uh, Quince Orchard has given up their first touchdown of the whole season. And it's also a seven point game. Now it's very close. Now, who got the. Quince Orchard got the ball first, too. So look, if Stonebridge gets a stop here, this is a big drive right here. Another penalty? Anyway, uh, yeah, Stonebridge can get a stop right here. They get the ball to start at half, too, so. Huge drive right here. They didn't get
And that was a huge turnover because you know, if Quince Orchard went down there and scored the game, it was probably over, like, for sure. And not only did they turn the ball over, they got a decent return, and they still got 34 seconds left, so they got a chance to put this ball in the end zone, making seven point goals. And the quick tackle made by number 24, Jaden Young Garnett. It's fourth down and long. All right, so look, time for second half. Just like that. Um, Stonebridge is going to get the ball started half up, but they're also down to 14 points. So you know how it goes. I ain't got to tell you, they need to score pretty soon. So. Moving the ball over here now. Great run, but it's coming back. I think as a whole, it should be coming back. But look, hey, we really got us a ball game now. Hey, they gave it to one. They just kept going, giving it to one all the way up the field. <laughs> he got him all the way up the field. Now it's 21 to 14. Only thing about that drive, it took a long time. It took like seven minutes to score, so they don't have the most time in the world. But all they need is a stop and a ball back. And this is, hey, we might have a really good game here. I ain't gonna lie. I think he was down, I think he caught it, so. I think it was a catch, and I don't think he was down. They got the ball like the 35 yard line too, so this, they can tie this game up real quick.
so we got third down from about the 10 yard line, third and goal. They got two players to punch it in. And no way to go for number one, Perkin. Cougar's defense takes him down for a loss. Brings up fourth down. And the kick is through. Hey, it might become, I don't know if it counted. Hold on. Every time he touched the ball, it's a movie. Like, you got, you know, I thought they kicked him to the end zone again. I couldn't see from here, obviously, but it looks like it's, I thought he stepped out of bounds like three different times. I guess it didn't, but if I had to guess, one of those blocks was a penalty and it's probably coming back. And once again, it's coming back for the second time in a row. Oh. I thought it was a second down, so it's gonna be like second and goal and long. Yeah, I heard what he said. Second goal from the 23 yard line. Hey, now look, <laughs> he missed the field goal. We got almost eight minutes left, a little over eight minutes left. I mean, a little under eight minutes, I'm sorry. And Stonebridge getting his ball back. Now, last time Stonebridge scored, it was a long, it was a long drive. They just kept running the ball, boom, boom, boom. And it took a little, about, a little under seven minutes. So, hey, this is a, uh, they might take this ball and go down and take the whole clock out and try to score. Down in 13. Hey man, I tell you what, these late hit and unnecessary rugby penalties are killing Quartz Ocean. You know, I know like a lot of them aren't in the video, but bro, they might have like a, almost 100 yards in, <laughs> in penalties from late hits and unnecessary rugby, I tell you. Like, it's just, the, the play before this, this is where you saw he knocked his helmet off, they caught it targeting on that too, so. Yeah, that's 30 yards back to back right there. Ooh. Again, it's number 
just keep moving on the wall. Just keep moving and moving. So we got to go on the 10-yard line now. It's like second three. Hey, bro, second and goal in the no six play. yard line. And it's about Let's go, boys. Three and a half minutes left. They can really take the lead right here, like at the end of the game. That's crazy. They can really do it. False start. It's going to back them up to about the 11. Four down right here. Four down from the eight yard line. Fourth and goal. We have 2.46 left in the game. And I don't think Stonebridge has any timeouts left. They blew it dead before the play, so even though it was offsides on the defense, the play don't count. Alright, so they just got the late game penalty and a 12 man in the field penalty. And they're going for two, so they're going for like the 12 yard line. Alright, so look, we got 158 left. And they got to kick the ball to QL. Let's see how they're Spikes it there. 
Clock stopped for 39 seconds. That was a game right there. Look, we got nine seconds left. Let's go down here real quick. Nine seconds left, and I don't think they have any timeouts, so. Another game, but that's two games in a row that could be game to win. 